a what? A, 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 a haul for this team. It's a lot of hardware. Yeah, everybody. It's Bradford gets us going with strike one to Abraham Toro, and then the breaking ball lifted out into short right, and that drops in for a base hit. They did pretty well as a team. You see the A's lineup swirling there underneath. Zach Geloff now batting. Cody Bradford in his third start now fires that one up and away. I love the just the one walk against 10 strikeouts, and the opponents are hitting only 116. Oh, a high fly ball this time to right field. Gives Garcia plenty of time to get there. About. And it's been effective so far. And ground ball toward third. That could be two, but a throw gets away and heads into right field. Toro into third base. They'll stop him there. Fielder's choice and an E5. Shea Langoliers will take just off the plate. Langoliers look helping Oakland to the four. A three win. He takes a strike. One and one. He's the last time a, an athletics catcher hit three homers in a game. Two and one. And a three is a rare feat. Uh, it is a it's a tall tall task. Well, Brown forgot the ground ball a moment ago on J D Davis. Would love another one here. Langoliers fills the count by chasing that fastball up. So quick story. To hit three. You got to be swinging the bat. <laughs> Here's a swing and a miss, and Langoliers strikes out. So with two outs, Tyler Nevin, the batter, and he'll take right on the outside corner for a strike. Bradford gets him to foul it away. Owen. Bradford trying to work around some base runners here, and the pitch foul back. And the A's claimed him on March 31st. Oh, two. And a bouncer. That one gets through. Base hit. A run is in as Toro scores from third. And Oakland. So Bradford was one strike away from getting out of the inning and now has to start over against J.J. Blade. Leadoff spot. Blade starts in center. And he shoots this one out to center field. Tavares, though, able to make it over to his right. To haul it in. Well, I did ask Bruce Bochy that very question. I prefaced it by saying that he may want to take the microphone out of my hand and hit me over the head there for everyone. And then he did answer the question and said, Look, I I'm very well aware of the fact that Jose has struggled to start the season, but we know what he's done. Provide a direct answer to that question, but leaving his options open. Yeah, it's still a big question mark right now as a strikeout. To now, Hernandez, who's 0 for 9. To start the year. Young guy, 22 years old. Drafted by the Orioles, a fifth. 1-1. One, one. And that's foul back. Don't rush him either. 1-2. And it's on the ground right to Seeger. And A's starts his career 0 for 10. So Lawrence Butler, ninth place hitter for Oakland. And breaking ball in there for a strike. And he's just five for his last 31. Oh, it's this ball high in the air. Deep out to center field, but room for Tavares. Couple of guys trying to run. Jones down on the field. And a new intern. And a, <laughs> and a new intern. A guy who just picked up a gold glove for crying out loud. Comfortable here. Just as we ease into this tonight because the next half inning if you're up for it you're crazy yeah that's hard yeah but you know from the perch up here when you can see everything it's a yeah. it's a different game it's a little slow on it so we'll give it a shot why not yeah well that's why we got you up here this one lined out into right field for Toro and so Oakland has a runner on to start you know it's not a popularity contest it's not a fan vote the vote comes in from players and staff across the league. So what what did it mean for you going into last year? And I know you really worked on your team as well. You were player of the year a couple of years ago. You collected a lot of hardware in a short amount of time here.
Uh, you have pace and figure that whole thing out. But we'll get to it. I'm no home builder. So uh, I just got to do my best to keep adding trophies. And What are you doing in your office? What kind of, what kind of madness you got going? Well, I check my emails once every three weeks or so. So it's nice. I'm no longer renting, so I have bills to pay. Oh, and yeah. Things to organize. And, you know, an office feels a little more official to get that done. Yeah. Okay. You know, he's standing out there and acting like he belongs. And when you trick yourself into thinking that you're a good player, it's going to work out. There is a placebo effect really well, and when he executes, we, we really like the result that he's gotten so far. He's been getting swing and miss, the curveball that he was in a game? In a minor league game, yes. In a minor league Impressive. game. I'll tell you what, you feel like you're eight feet tall walking off the field. <laughs> well, 3-1. Rangers on top. And once again, we do play-by-play -play for the longest time. We just didn't get him any Great action that inning. Maybe. He is a fun one to hang with, and that was cool. And and I will say, this one tapped right back out near Bradford. That's a good grab with a bare hand, and he throws out Nevin. One gone. Must be from their angle. I don't think I've ever seen planes out there through the windows. Have you? No. So maybe from down in the dugout, they're looking up and I just is seeing that, and we never see it from our position. They said take it off and let 1-1 one, one on the way to Blade and a swing and a miss. Strike two. Can confirm. You can see. I'd love to see the game from down there. Two and two. Well, he was talking about seeing spin. I said paying close attention to the monitor. 2-2 two, two. and a swing and a miss. Another strikeout for Bradford. This one popped up right side of the infield. And Walsh is right there for it. It's a one two proof so much. Batting average against only 111 this year. And that trace, that chase rate zone getting a number of strikeouts across the top. I like the way he's always had it since we've seen him anyway. He comes right at you. There's no fear. I think some of that that confidence, that bravado. The one two is up. Great composure. Oh, swing and a miss, and he adds another strikeout to the ledger. It's been a very effective pitch here tonight. He fires one in for a strike to Lawrence Butler. Too short of his career high. Likely close up. It's one and two. Yesterday we saw the big league debut. And he wins out very tight. This one on the ground. Third base technically. And Smith is there and throws out Butler. Kirk for Shea Langoliers is yep. totally, you know, upstage. Davis Wenzel and his big league debut. <laughs> Guys were at Baylor. And of course, Wenzel, he was the co Big 12 player of the year. Obviously, had a huge night last night. But, like, read the room. <laughs> but let's, let's put a little perspective, right? He grew up here. Keller, right? Yeah. Can you imagine getting no, to the big leagues and you come to your hometown? made his big league debut it was here I think he homered in that game threw out a runner I mean he was he was all over the the box score that night too he, he's played really well here and a pop-up back of second by Tarl makes for another going across the top and in and then that slider down and away he's had tremendous command here this and 16 strikeouts and that's huge there's a swing and a miss he's ahead of Geloff 0-2 Dave I love Schnee He's gotten 13 whiffs so far. And that's wide. One and two to Geloff. Injuries. Bouncer left side of the infield. And Seeger throws out Geloff one away. Making the observation that, well, velocity works, right? It, it plays. If you throw hard, you'll get hit and do that. But we see guys like Bradford do it. He's not overpowering guys. 
The changeup right there at 80. The fastball around 90. He's going. Maybe it is. So maybe it's not velocity so much as it's the amount of effort that you exert with each pitch. A dozen, maybe a dozen times a night. So based on that, where you're going here, you think Greg Maddox would be successful today? I do. I do too. That one is a gapper. And that'll be extra bases, a double for J.D. Davis, and that puts an end to 10 straight. Tacky stuff, which we know we've seen kind of eliminated from the game. Right, it became an issue because guys took it to absurd levels. Spider tap, Major League Baseball, we've seen guys do something to get a little feel. It's not like it was just happening for the first time ever. And it's... 0-2 to Langoliers. And that's... Just a tad low. Ball one. I guess it all started with my point being, look at the velocity numbers for Cody Bradford. He's having success tonight. Truism that we're trying to put out there about the way the game should be played. Because people will come back and they'll say, that's fine. The one thing is, when a guy like Cody Bradford, argument as well on the other side. Bouncer third base. That takes Smith back a step. But he has plenty of time to get it across to get Langoliers. Two gone. Two six innings tonight. Tyler Nevin has a hit in two tries. And we'll take low. To that point, when I first got to the big leagues, one of my coaches was in Phil. Rufi was talking to him after the game. And just very simply, he said, he said, Rufi, it doesn't matter, you know, the what you know. And ultimately saying, you know, a well-located fastball behind. Two to Nevin and another swing and a miss. Seventh strike out of the night for Bradford. Way well, he's thrown his first three starts. Yeah, I don't think you can ask much more of the young left-hander. This is his 10 start. Boy, was he good against Houston too? Oh, really good. The 2-0, and that is lifted to center field. Tavares gathers it in. Kind of the last one in, and would be the first one out uh, when the reinforcements come. But making quite a case for for himself uh, with the way he started. Um, but there is competition there, and it, and it affects certain people in different ways. And it looks like it's affecting Cody Bradford and the best. Very tight camaraderie as a starting rotation, and and yes, yeah, like pass the baton. Hey, I got it done today. This is now it's your turn out there on the mound. But in the locker room, he he really pulls that group together. And he asked me about Evaldi and his response. And I said, he's always oh, doing great. You know, he's had a huge bit impact. And people have, right? Yeah. The one who's known him, the 2 2. That one lined out to center. And Tavares is there. Two away. Covering the inside, using all of his pitches the curveball, the slider, the changeup, and the fastball for strikeouts. And a little flare in the center for. Hernandez, and there is his. I'll go up on the the shelf, or maybe to mom, maybe to dad. So Hernandez, the runner at first. Butler now and he takes off the plate two and O. Oh. As a fan oh, of man. that of your favorite team, your entire life, and then you become a part of it. Like that's just absolutely kind of a dream come. Jacob Blatz was throwing out there. 3-0, and that's high. So Butler 